Hi everyone, so this video might not go down too well, but I feel like it's, you know, necessary. And that is on the subject of these smartphones, you know. I am so thankful that I did not own a smartphone during recovery. And I do a lot of consultations at the moment, and it is an issue, you know. If you're somebody that cannot relax, you're not getting restful sleep, you are feeling on edge all the time, you're feeling wired, you need to get rid of your phone. You need to get rid of it. You need to put it in a cupboard and forget about it until you have recovered. That is the harsh truth of this issue that you're having, is that these technologies keep us in that wired state. You know, it's a constant dopamine drip all day long. If you're constantly checking phone, checking notifications, checking social media, checking all these different things, it is not helping you in recovery whatsoever. And if you're truthfully, brutally honest with yourself, you know that too. Now, like everything, I say, if you have a suspicion that something's not doing you any good, take it out for a week. Take it out for a week or two. See how you get on, yeah? I tell you what, if you give up this, this you know, dopamine addiction, you know, to these technologies, that first week is going to be so difficult for you. But, notice how you feel after you've given it up. And... I was speaking to a guy yesterday on a consultation and he's part of a Facebook group and he shows these, he was telling me about all these different moderators that had chronic illness, constantly replying to people's questions and no doubt these people are constantly checking their phones or their social media every day and m multiple times a day to um, reply to people and everything else. I think I had the right approach during recovery where I, firstly I didn't own a smartphone, thank God. And I wasn't concerned about other people's recoveries. I was in my own bubble. I was focusing on my recovery and how I felt day to day, you know? You, as a person with chronic illness, do not have the energy to expend on other people's issues. Whether that's living in a toxic environment, easier said than done, I know it's very difficult. I feel sorry for people that are in that situation. Really, I feel really sorry for you. Um, and I, hope, I wish you the best. But any situation where someone is draining you or you're giving energy away, you're not in a position to do that. You have a chronic illness. You need to be quite selfish in this time to get yourself where you want to be. If you are not being selfish with your time, you're giving it away to people and you're giving your energy away and you don't have the energy in the first place, where do you think that's going to leave you? It's going to leave you in a deficit. And you have to look at every area in your life and be brutally honest whether that is assisting you in your one only goal of recovery. So, my honest advice to people is to get rid of their phones and there's gonna be people that are saying, I need my phone to watch these videos. Fair enough, fair enough. But restrict it, you know? Don't even watch the video, just put it on audio. Or, you know, download the videos, put it on an old generation iPod, you know, that doesn't have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and everything and listen to them that way. This is what I would be doing during my recovery, is, is it what I mentioned to a guy in a, my consultation the other day, is that I had an old generation iPod, you can pick them up for 10, 20 quid now, you know, 30 gigabyte generation 4 or something, and put audiobooks on it, put YouTube videos you find inspiration on it, and listen to them. Don't engage with everything in life, you haven't got that energy to spend. And... It is extremely difficult to give up these, these things and it took me many years to give them up. But I'm just trying to help you avoid the same mistake that I did of, you know, seeking that gratification, that instant gratification through all these different, you know, social media and technology things. Now, that's not to say that if you slip up, you know, for a day, you have a day where you check social media, or you, you, you know, you know what, forget that. I honestly think social media is better off without it during recovery, just because it's engaging and you haven't got the energy to engage right now with your chronic illness. But what I will say is that, you know, I had a curfew of where I'd two till six o'clock, um, I would allow myself computer time. However, I was very honest with myself. If I went on the computer, turned it on, started feeling that white feeling, pressed the button. I didn't even press shut down. I just pressed the button on the computer, turned it off, go back to my routine that made me feel calm. Being in that calm state is essential to recovery. If you're not in that calm state, you are not gonna recover. It's simple as that. 
once you get into that calm state, you will see the changes, they happen so much more rapidly because your body's in that healing state. 